Greetings, YouTube. Um, the article I'll be discussing today came out in May, and it refers to something that happened at, in late April. I shall read a short excerpt. Last week in Texas, a Republican lawmaker proposed to amend an amendment so outrageous that even some of his own GOP colleagues were repulsed. India Grimes with RH Reality Reports, Representative Matt Schaefer, R of Tyler, put forward an amendment that would pass it uh, it will make it illegal to terminate a pregnancy after 20 weeks, even if a fetus has a severe and irreversible abnormality, effectively forcing families with wanted but unsustainable pregnancies to carry to term at the behest of the state and against the advice of the doctors or their own wishes. Uh, what would cause a lawmaker to want the government to inflict more emotional pain onto an already grieving family in addition to adding a major health risk to the mother? Does he not realize that a woman can easily die of sepsis by carrying a deceased or non-viable fetus? And this is from the lawmaker in question. Schaefer said that the suffering is part of the human condition since sin entered the world. So. This particular lawmaker has decided that his cons socially conservative, theistic worldview is more important than the lives of women. This doesn't shock me. I've encountered many socially conservative theists who feel that women's lives are essentially worthless. That the only life that is of any worth is a straight white male. Um, and uh, so it doesn't shock me in the least. And it goes without saying that almost every single one of these people has been a hardcore theist of some variety or another. Um, mostly Christian in America, of course. But you do get the straight male versions and other ethnicities, other worlds, other parts of the world, where for you sometimes they're Jewish, sometimes they're Muslim. Um, there are other varieties of uh, socially conservative theism out there that have equally offensive and egregiously outrageous worldviews. Um, this one, of course, being in America and Texas, this in this particular Republican is uh, is a white Christian male who uh, is probably cisgender and straight, and he would like women to die because that fits his particular narrative more effectively than, say, following the advice of a doctor or the wishes of the person that has to carry the fetus. Um, now, I'm still stand that the original decision of Roe vs. Way, Roe versus Way, that it should be 24 weeks, even though I have read research that a fetus does not actually begin to produce the brain activity of a human being until as late as 30 weeks, but I'll take 24 as the cutoff point. These Republicans keep pushing the, the time to a shorter and shorter span because they want to eventually completely eliminate abortion entirely. And that's not going to stop abortion. It'll just stop legal abortion. Women will continue to have them and more women will die, and more women, more women will be horribly scarred than they than are now, because at the moment, at least, it's legal. Even though the Republicans have gone to great measure to make sure that it's very difficult to be uh, achieve that end of getting an abortion in many places in America. Now, as far as the late-term abortion argument goes, women get early-term abortions for one of three reasons. <coughs> Excuse me. The woman is going to die, the fetus is going to die, or they're both going to die. Getting a late-term late abortion is difficult. You have to have two doctors sign off on it, and the number of people that perform them in America is incredibly small. They are rare. It is not something done on a whim. What is it about socially conservative theists, or socially conservatives in general, I guess, that makes them think that abortion is a whim kind of situation? That they're just going to wake up one day and say, hey, you know, I'm done with this pregnancy. That's, that's not how it works. I know people who have gone through this process. It was not a whim in the least. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the Republican war on women marches on. And as it's been going on for decades, and they're making great gains against women in America. Uh, and as someone else in the article mentioned, they, uh, was it the Democratic representative Jessica Farrar, which in fact is a Democrat in all in Texas, is amazing, of Houston, is quoted as saying this is the most misogynistic piece of legislation she has seen in her 21 years in office. And, and she's correct. It is really incredibly misogynistic. This is saying that the life of a woman has absolutely no value when in comparison to the life of a fetus, even if the fetus is non-viable. That a non-viable fetus has greater social worth in this social conservative uh, worldview 
than does a living, breathing woman. Yeah. There you go, folks. This is what we call the patriarchy in action.